Okay, let's look at the example now that's so very similar to what's in the book, similar to what some of the problems you're going to be asked to work in the homework. Uh, we, we have this graph here. Just The author just gives us some graphs every now and then and says, tell me some things about this. Conceptually, do you understand what a limit is? Uh, so this particular graph comes up here. Uh, we're not going to worry about what it does when x is negative, but it comes up here. It's not defined up here. It's defined here. And then below that, it, it goes on to a point, drops off. Now, you've seen these type of things before, and you may ask, where would you ever have a weird thing that's suddenly not defined at a point or uh, suddenly drops off? But if you think about the space shuttle taking off, and it's got a fuel tank, and his fuel, well, it would be opposite of this graph, but his fuel is decreasing, so the mass of the aircraft is decreasing all the time. But then suddenly, when they jettison a tank, suddenly you've lost a lot of weight all at once, and you take this big drop in weight. So you do see these types of graphs and functions, and so the mathematics of these things do uh, end up in, in, in equations where we're trying to figure out what's going on in, in the real world. Let's look at this one. The author says... Limit of f of x. Limit of f of x as x is equal to 0. Well, this is f of x. When x is equal to 0, we see it's just 3. So that one's straight off the graph. What happens now when the limit of f of x when x is 3? Now, you notice there's a little minus sign here, and over here there's a little plus sign. What we're getting at is what happens to this function as we approach 3 from the negative direction from over here. So I'm coming up close to 3 and as I get right before 3, as I'm approaching 3, it looks like the answer here is going to be 4. The limit as it approaches 3 from the negative is 4. What about the other side? What about the limit of this when I'm approaching from the positive side? Notice I come up and, and it looks like here it's approaching 2. So, just using some uh, graphing, what is the graph telling us? He never. Uh, I think later in this problem, he asks us, what is the limit at 3? And we can just tell, well, that's going to be, that black dot is going to be 3. But the point is, is we can look at, how, if we approach this function from two different directions, in this case, because it has this discontinuity in it, we get two different answers.